Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be looking at a new feature if, with Revit Structure 2012 which is uh, cuttable void families. Okay, so what I'm going to do is show you how they operate in the project environment and then we'll have a, a little look at how I've created the family. So I'm going to place a component. Okay, and if you have a look in the type selector in here you can see that this is uh, a, a cutting tool. So we'll actually place that down on the plan view. Okay, and I'm going to just change the offset height here to 150 units. Right, so you can see that this is uh, parametrically uh, controllable through the browser here. So if I just change some of the sizes in here, and maybe we'll change the depth to 550, and also I can control the chamfer size as well, so we'll set that to 75. Now, you can see the void now in the 3D view. Now one of the new features here is I'm able to actually use that void to actually cut all of these elements. So here we have just a standard strip footing. Yeah, you can see here this isn't an in-place family, this has actually been uh, generated by the normal um, wall foundation command. We have a standard pad foundation here, again um, that's just created by using an isolated foundation. And we have a structural wall. So, how do we uh, use this new void cut family? Well, if we click cut geometry up here, Yep, then what we're able to do here is um, pick what we're going to be cutting. So I'm going to start with the pad foundation and then void. So you can see that's actually cut the pad foundation, but if you have a look here, you can see the strip footing is left uncut. So we can actually now uh, continue with the cutting. So that's what I want to cut now, and I want to use that same family. And now I want to cut the wall again with that same family. So there's the result, and you can see that that's really quite nice. Now of course if I uh, go back to the family here and we make some additions and changes to that, okay, let's change the uh, chamfer to 125 there, then instantly you can see it updates all of the model in here. So how's that actually working? Well let's start by picking the family and if I now edit the family, let's just maximize that so you can see that a bit clearer. And what I've actually got here is just a void family. So we'll go into um, a side elevation, or a front elevation here. You can see um, I've set up some reference planes to control the length uh, and the width. You'll see that in the floor plane. Yep, so there's the cut length and the cut width um, selected there. If we go to the front view, you can see that I've got the cut depth here and the chamfer angles and of course my void extrusion. Okay, now what you basically do is you um, create all of this. Obviously you've got to actually check that uh, all of the sizes actually work. So I would come in here and flex the family file to make sure all of this is going to update correctly. You can see, yes it does, in there. And then we load that back into the project and we can then use that as a, a cutting family. Now, in order to actually allow items to actually be cut, what we have to do is the following. So, if I just go into the 3D view here, and I pick this pad foundation, and I'm going to go and edit this family, a new feature in Revit Structure 2012 is the ability to actually set this uh, setting here in Family Categories and Parameters, which is cut with voids when loaded. Okay, and What that allows me to do is actually then use this as a, uh, as a cuttable object. Okay, now that's pretty much set for most of these family files. Okay, so that's a very useful tool in Revit Structure 2012. I hope you find that useful.